here we go. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. In today's vlog, I'm going to be sharing with you lots of tips and hacks to pack for a fly cruise. Yes, we've got our luggage at the ready. Thank you very much, Level 8 Cases. Mwah. Hashtag gifted, of course. We are going to be flying from London Gatwick Airport to Melbourne Airport in Florida, joining Morella Discovery at Port Canaveral, sailing to the Bahamas, then on up to New York, and then back down to Charleston before returning to Port Canaveral. It's going to be awesome. But we have weight restrictions, not us, the luggage. Uh, and people often want to know, how do you really go about packing successfully for a fly cruise? Well, I am going to show you how to ace it. Let's go. Before that, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel vlogs. And if you're looking for exclusive content from me, you can now sign up to my Patreon page. Cases you see here were gifted to us by level8cases.com and we genuinely love the designs. If you are interested in any of the products at level8cases.com, use the link in the description under my video, not forgetting my unique code JAMIE10 for a 10% discount. Cases are durable, lightweight and scratch resistant. The ultra quiet 360 degree durable spinner wheels feature an anti-shock design. There's also a TSA approved combination lock for additional security. These very handy, transparent luggage labels were purchased from Amazon. You already know I love to be organized and another reason I love these cases is that the interior compression system functions as a built-in organizer. Now then, some of you lovelies have suggested we travel quite a lot and therefore is packing uh, tricky for us. Well, not really. We actually have three wicker baskets um, on top of our wardrobe and they are always filled with travel essentials. So things like toothpaste and sun cream, um, our portable toothbrush, etc. It's all there ready. Alrighty, and here's the important bit how to pack for a fly cruise first up and most important don't forget to check weight restrictions with the airline with whom you are flying on our long-haul flight with two airlines from london gatwick to melbourne florida we're allowed to check in one piece of luggage each weighing no more than 20 kilograms per piece of luggage we're also allowed to take on one piece of hand luggage each and each of those is not allowed to weigh more than 10 kilograms and for those sized queens of you out there, yes, there are restrictions. Here they are. Your hand luggage must not measure more than 55 by 40 by 20 centimeters. Alrighty, everybody. One of the first things I want to mention are these beautiful things known as packing cubes. I'm sure you've heard of them. And if you don't own any, you might be thinking, what is the point? Well, here's the point. Essentially, instead of packing all of your things directly into a case, you pack them into these very handy packing cubes. This means you can organize all your garments by category. And for someone like me, who is super organized, that's awesome. Now then, Level 8 cases sell more than just luggage. Yep, they do these great cube organizers. Uh, different sizes, as you can see. And one of the great things about these is they have these detachable uh, tags. So I can just pop that one there. That might be where I actually store some shoes. I know some of you say, no, I've got loads of shoes. I need a big one. Problem? Use the bigger organizer. The magic happens, however, when you're packing. You just zip these up, plop them straight into your case, and when you arrive at your destination, uh, take them out and just put them straight into your drawers. It's so simple. In this particular organizer, I've got my t-shirt, some vest, and some collared shirts as well. There you go, all zipped up, and that should fit into one half of my case. Shoes in here, and I've also packed flip-flops into my hand luggage to change into on the flight. I like to be comfy, and I'm going to be wearing a pair of shoes to the airport as well, so they will swap place with my flip-flops in my hand luggage. And please don't listen to those people who say not to put your socks in your shoes. You absolutely should, not just to save space, but to make sure that your shoes don't get crushed under the weight of whatever ends up being on top on that flight. And in this packing cube, I've got my shorts, I've got trousers, my undies as well, and belt. So essentially anything that is going to be covering my bits and bobs and legs. I also have one packing cube for sun cream. Now, some of you will probably be very familiar with these towel clips. I have to be honest with you, I do not recommend taking these on a fly cruise. In fact, I'm going to put those aside. Bye bye. 
and I'm going to replace them with these large bands. Now these came from Tal Bandit. I don't think they operate anymore, but it would not be difficult to find some of these large bands um, to keep your towels in place on a windy day out on deck. So that gives me a little extra space. Or oh, by the way, can I just recommend to you Sun Bum if you are able to purchase that? It smells like the kind of thing you're going to want to eat and not just put all over your body. Uh, dry mists are also great, especially in very hot climes. Now this is a nice small sun cream actually, so you can uh, take that with you, keep it in your pocket on your travels, and also a great uh, pocket size bar for your very delicate face. Now we also purchased, very cheaply might I add, one of these hand cleansing gels. Uh, we've actually removed the contents and we're going to fill that with sun cream. You can see you can just literally attach that to your belt. So that's gonna be really handy and easy to carry when we're out and about and it's hot and sunny. Ordinarily on a cruise, I take a reed diffuser with me uh, because I can, don't judge me. Uh, for a fly cruise, I'm actually gonna take one of these uh, Febreze air fresheners for the bathroom. You never know with those older ships, folks. And in this organizer, as you can see, I've got some of my smellies. Um, so shampoo, deodorant, I've got my scandalous aftershave. Uh, this is quite a clever one as well. It's got little compartments look, I like that. And I always take a lightweight drawstring bag. These are literally just a few pounds. They're incredibly easy to pack, very light. Uh, great for, I don't know, head into the pool or a beach or something like that. Perfect. I'm also taking with me a waterproof case for my phone. Um, we've got US and European adapters here, plus USB port earplugs. You never know how noisy it's gonna be in that cabin. I've got my selfie stick. I always travel with a pen. You never know when you're gonna to need to sign something. So we are sailing with Morella Cruises and they are generally quite a casual cruise company. Therefore, we are not choosing to dress up smart on any night. We're gonna keep it real, folks. However, if you want to dress up, I really recommend you take one of these suit or cocktail dress carriers. This is quite lightweight. I got this from Next in the UK. Um, and obviously you'll need a slightly bigger case as well. For us, it's not going to be a problem. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. And uh, we'll be happy in just casual trousers or even tailored shorts, which is allowed with Morella. No, that does not make us scum of the earth. Please, please, please don't judge us. Alrighty, let's get those packing cubes into our case. Number one. Number two drawstring bag just tuck that one down the side no problem shoes are going to actually sit on top of here i know it looks like it might not close but it will i promise you amenities are going to slot in beautifully here at the edge let's zip up one half right a slight redesign but that's all fitting in nicely now should be able to zip that baby up oh look at that bit of redesigning and Bob is your uncle and Petunia your auntie over it goes and here's the moment of truth isn't it please please my baby oh it's working it's working last bit yay we made it Woo. phew we are not done yet however nope it's hand luggage time so I'm gonna pack my comfies for the flight if I wanna get changed, but also I've got my swimming trunks. Uh, you aren't necessarily gonna see your luggage when you get on board the ship. So if I wanna go swimming, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You may remember before I said I've got my flip-flops ready in here for the flight. In go my comfies and swimming trunks. If you're flying, any of your meds really, really must go in your hand luggage and in the original case as well. And they go perfect. Now this is long haul, so I'm going to take on board a few amenities just to freshen up during the flight or perhaps prior to arrival. Of course, if you are taking liquids on board in your hand luggage, you need to ensure that none of them are above 100 mils. They also need to be placed in a transparent bag, no bigger than 20 by 20. Now we purchased this baby from Amazon, really cheap, uh, perfect for travel. And in you go. There you go. I think we're doing all right for space, aren't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. No problem. And in the side pocket, I've got my earbuds. 
I've got a power bank. You're not allowed to check that into your luggage in the hold, by the way. It's got to be in your hand luggage. I've got a cable and sunglasses because I can only hope at the other side it's going to be sunny. Finally, a light plastic pocket for our passports, tickets. We also take a copy of our insurance. You never know when you're going to need that. And of course, currency. And there you have it. Hand luggage ready. And that's it. I am ready for our fly cruise. And of course, you are going to want to come along for that experience. It's going to be incredible. In the meantime, do you have any top tips or hacks for fly cruise packing? If you do, drop those comments below because we would all love to hear from you. As always, I really appreciate your support. And please don't forget to follow Travel Vlog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, YouTube and Patreon. And thank you to those patrons on tiers two and three, Gaynor, Mike, Sean, Alison, Matt, and Stephanie.